So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Tarisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about date time API, I mean the new date time API in Java 8. Uh, before Java 8 we already had date time API. Uh, I always used to wonder you know why the earlier date and time API is so weird. In fact if you can see in my complete playlist I don't have any video which talks about date API. But since in Java 8, they have updated the date API, which is, which is way better than the last one. So that's why I'm taking, taking this video here. Now, why, wh what was the issue with the earlier, earlier uh, date time API? The first issue is, if I want to create the object of date, if I say date D equal to new date, and if I want to import the package, can you see that if I, if I simply get the suggestions, you can see date API is there in two packages, SQL and util. So SQL package date deals with the date format which is suitable for MySQL, I mean for any database. And this Java pack, I mean the Java package date deals with the machine, uh, ma machine specific date or human specific date. So instead of having, I mean it always creates some sort of confusion, right? If you import the first package, it will give you the error for the second package if you write the second one. So I always used to hate that part, that's the first problem. The second issue is, so the first issue is the same class is in two packages. The second is even if you want to format, let's say if you want to do some formatting of the date format, I mean the date, we need to, we need to import one more package which is import java.text. So this was the package which, to, which used to have all the available, which all the classes which is used to format the date. So that's the second issue. Uh, the third issue is all the date packages, I mean the date classes, th those are not thread safe. Okay, when you say thread safe, it simply means that, you know, it is not, uh, so if, if multiple threads are working on the same date object, and if one thread is work, if, if one thread is making the changes, the other thread will suffer, right? So that's, that's the issue with, uh, with the old date time API. So the new date time API in Java 8, the first thing it is immutable, okay, which means you cannot change. I mean, even if you're changing the existing value, it will create a new object for you. It is more simple to use. So let's see how to use the new date time API. Now to use it, first of all, you need a JDK 8 in your machine. I mean, JDK 1.8, if you're using 1.7, it will not work. So the way you use it is, the, let's talk about the first class, I mean we'll, talk, we'll not talk about all the classes here, we'll talk about one or two classes. The first one is local date. So local date deals, it actually deals with the local date, I mean the system defined date. We'll say local date, which belongs to a package java.time, so no more util package. For, for date time API, we have a special package called as java.time. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll name this object as d itself equal to new. Now we, we don't say new is because we don't want to create object here. What we'll simply do is we'll say local date dot now. So now is the method using which you can, you know, if you try to print the D value, it will simply print the date. Because earlier when you have to print, when you have to create object of date and when you want to print the date, it used to print the date and time. When I'm asking for date, why you're giving me time? That's weird, right? But if you use the new one, it will give you only date. I'm asking for the date. It is giving me for the date. It is giving me the date. You got the date here, which is 21st 10, 2016, the today's date here. Okay. So that's how we use the uh, date. We can also mention the particular date. If you don't want the today's date, what we can do is we can specify the date here. And to specify the date, we have to use a off method where you have to mention the year. I will say the year is 1989. I will say month is August, which is 8, and day of the month is 20, that's my birthday. Okay, and if I run this code, you can see we got 1989, 8 and 20. But hold on, uh, is it this 8 is August or this 8 is September? Because the problem is, if you are starting the number from 0, then that should be September, right? But if you are starting with 1, that should be August, that's the biggest confusion. So to remove the confusion, we can also use a month, a, a class called as month, which has, uh, which has all this, what do you say, all this months here. I will use my one, which is August. If I go to month, oh, it's not a class, it's an enum. So in this enum, we have all this, 
elements here. So we got month dot August. If I run this code, we get the same output, which is 1989-0820. Okay. But how about if I don't mention August, if I say February, okay, that's weird. February, and if I mention let's say 28, will it work? And it should work, there's no issue. But as soon as I make it 29, you can see it will give you some bad words now because 1989 was not a leap year. So that's how it is that smart. So that's how we use local date. We can also use local time. Let's say if I don't want to use local date, let me remove this part. Let's use local time. So how do we use local time? We simply specify local time which belongs to our package Java dot uh, time again. We'll say t equal to local time. That's local time dot now. So it will give you the local time here. Let's print the time. We'll say print t. And if I run this code now, you can see we got the current time, which is 5, 6, 57 and 5, 91 milliseconds. Okay, that's how it gives you the local time here. Okay, but you can be specific. I don't want the local time. I You can specify the time i mean you can specify the time here let's say if i say this is off and if i say this is 12 uh 35 uh 10 seconds and 999 milliseconds and if i run this code you can see we'll get that particular time here okay so we can also specify the time there okay so we can use a local time or local date and you can be very specific here. You can also specify the time zone. Let's say I don't want the current time zone. I want, if I say now, it should, it should show me the time zone of US because when I provide online training, it, it, it is a huge problem, right? Because uh, when I take online training, I have some of my students from US, some of my students from India, some of them are from Singapore and from London. So. I have to manage all those time, right? I, I mean, I forgot all this time. All this time. So when I say I have a live session at 9 p.m. today in uh, IST, I don't know about uh, about them, right? What is the time zone for them? I mean, the time for them. So I can specify that I want a time zone for. So I can specify the zone here. I can specify the zone ID dot uh, off. And okay, even I don't know the zone IDs. How would I get the zone IDs? Okay, before that, before doing this, let, let's see how to fetch all the zone IDs, even I don't remember. The best way is you can go to Google and fetch all the zone IDs or you can do it by yourself here. What I will do is I will simply use, can you see, uh, okay, let, let's see, zone ID has a method called as get available zone IDs. Can you see that? We have this method get available zone IDs and this method here returns a set. That means if I use an enhanced for loop here to print all the elements, let's say string s colon zone IDs, and if I print all the values, it will print all the zone IDs here. Can you see that we got all the zone IDs? Okay, and but the but the thing is, it is giving you not in a proper sequence. It's because set gives you all in weird sequence, but that's okay for us. Let's fetch one of it. Let's say I want to fetch uh, any of my student in other place. Oh, let's, where is, where is Qatar? Can you see Qatar, Qatar, Qatar? Yeah, Kuwait. Let's say I want to see the time in Kuwait now. So I will copy this and I will, I will, un I will undo this part now. And here I will mention this, this time zone. And if I print, if I print, you can see the time there, the first line. So in, in uh, Kuwait, the timing is 2 p.m. Is it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, the, the system is saying that time, so it should be correct, right? In fact, we can do one more thing. We can type, uh, let's say GMT. I want the current GMT. So it will give me the GMT there. And if I run this code, you can see we got, this is the current GMT time, which is 11.40. In fact, we can, so this is the human readable time, right? We can also use the instant class. So we have one more class here, which is instant. If I say instant, instant dot now, it gives you the GMT, I, I suppose. If I say I, if I run this code, okay, it also gives a GMT with date. So it gives you date and it also gives a DM, GMT. Can you see that the time there? It is 11.40.42. That's the GMT it is giving you. Okay. 
Now this time is not human readable. This are for this is machine readable, right? So we can use instant for machine readable, and we can use time. In fact, we can also use date time. So we can mention date time. Okay, for that we have to import the package. Now date time will give you both date and time, and I suppose that it will give you the same output. You can see we got the same output, but the only difference is this doesn't ends with Z. Okay, and that's weird. I know. So we have machine readable time and we have human readable time because if you don't mention the zone here, it will give you the current time and instant will give you the GMT. So this is human readable and this is machine readable. So these are the new date time available features available in Java 8. So you can explore more. You can just do some experiment and you will find some new things. So yeah, that's it from this video. In fact, you can also compare that. So there's a method called as is before. You can also try that uh, and you can compare dates. You can form, you can do formatting. So try it out. Let me know your, uh, what, what, uh, what are the experiments you have done in the comment section. If you have done some, if you have found out some new ways of finding dates, just may mention the comment section and let me know if you're liking my videos or not. Do subscribe, like my video and let me know in the comment section, what is your thoughts about it. Thank you so much.